guys, welcome back. Today I have a review of the Kea Polish Winter Glamourland, Glamour? yeah. Winter Glamourland collection. This is their winter collection. And then I also have their two new black and white polishes called Paper Snow and Tuxedo Mask. So if you guys want to see a review of this collection and those additional polishes, then just keep watching. Let's talk about the black and white polishes first. These are new and they're just a plain white and a plain black polish. This one is called Paper Snow. This one covers in two coats. It has a nice formula. There's nothing really spectacular to say about a white or a black polish other than it covers in two coats and it's nice. It's a white polish. The next one is called Tuxedo Mask and this is, again, plain black cream polish. It covers in two coats. That's about it. It has a nice formula. It doesn't run down the side of your nails. But there are options for black or white cream polishes from KL Polish now, so uh, I know a lot of people were asking for that and um, they made it happen. Now we're going to talk about Winter Glamourland. This is a six-piece collection. I love the Kale Polish does six piece collections. It's so much more manageable for me. I know I keep talking about this, but it's like my favorite thing. Uh, I'm going to talk about them in the order that they are in the little box kit. The first one is called Casino Night, and this one is named after the episode of The Office that's Casino Night. That's another thing I like about the polishes from Kale Polish is the themes aren't super specific, but the names, they're all named after something specific, if that makes sense. Anyway, I like that. This is Casino Night. This is a gold glitter, and uh, it looks, you might think it looks similar to Des Expensive, but Des Expensive is uh, more, it, it's a much lighter gold. I got you. I know. They're both beautiful. They're both worth owning. This one covers in two coats. Uh, it is a glitter, so you will need some heavy top coat. And it's probably not like the most fun to remove, but you can get it off your nails. It's fine. But this is two coats of Casino Night. The next one is called Ace, and this is a true red. A true warm toned red cream polish. This one covers in two coats. I don't... you guys know how I feel about red. It's not my most favorite color in the world, but I think that this is a really nice red. It covers in two coats. It has a nice formula. Red is a color that you want the polish to have a fantastic formula. You don't want it running down your cuticles. You don't want it running into the sides of your nails, and this doesn't do that, so that is really excellent. Next one is called Central Park, and this is just a hunter green. It's a very dark green. In some lights, I can see how people would think that this is black on your nails, but it's just pretty. I love green. I can't help it. In some lights, I can see how people would think that this looks like black on your nails, but in very bright light or sunlight, it's definitely going to look green. Again, it has a really great formula. It covers in two coats. I've found kale polish formulas to be extremely consistent. The next one is called Cassiopeia, and this is a beautiful brown scattered holographic polish. We know I like all colors. I really do like all colors. I definitely gravitate towards certain colors more than others. But I like all colors and I love anything holographic and this one is lovely. Another really great formula. Opaque into coats. Next we have Mindy. This is a wine colored cream and covered in two coats. Has a nice formula. And lastly, we have Graham. This is a sort of taupe colored cream polish. This one almost covers in one coat. It was basically opaque in one coat. 
basically. There were just like a few areas that needed like a little bit more so I just so it didn't look splotchy or blobby. I just did a second coat. But honestly, you could probably get away with this on one coat. This one had a really great formula um, and it's a really light color to have such a nice opacity. That is it. That is the Kale Polish Winter Glamourland collection along with the additional black and white polishes. Did you guys pick up this collection? Did you pick up any from this collection? If you tried Kale Polish, tell me your thoughts. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!